Welcome to this Seascape step-by-step tutorial. Let's get started. I'm going to be using Derwent's extra large, highly pigmented, intensely vibrant extra large blocks. If you don't have the blocks, don't worry. You can just use your watercolors and I will give you some color alternatives. So I'm starting off with the bright blue and I'm using my size 10 round brush and I'm just adding a little bit of water. Getting a touch of black here as well to make a dark sort of blue grey colour. I'm wetting the sky now with my size 10 brush and I am using Arches 300 grams paper and it's a rough paper. You could mix up some Payne's grey with Prussian blue if you're using watercolours. So I'm painting this mix here, wet into wet, the top part of my painting. And this painting is from my imagination. I'm just adding a little bit more of the black and the blue, slightly darker at the top. So less water, more pigment, painting damp into damp. So I've just rinsed my brush off there and I am wetting the area below the sky, but I'm leaving a sort of a gap there so I don't have the sky running in to the sea area. I've mixed up some of the bright blue and the field green. You could use phthalo blue, Prussian blue with viridian or any green. So it just got a lovely sea green colour. I'm kind of painting a little bit wet on dry at the bottom there and I've added some of the black to the blue to make it really quite dark at the bottom, painting it damp into damp. So less water, more pigment and just blending that dark there at the bottom getting a little bit more blue and painting that sort of creamier colour now, damp into damp. Mixing up the bright blue with the poppy red, you could use cadmium red and phthalo blue. And I'm just mixing that on the surface there and I'll come back to that later. Meanwhile, just getting a little bit more of that intense blue mixed with a pinch of the poppy red. So you've got this lovely sort of grey blue colour painting damp into damp, some land there on the left. Again, this is from my imagination. And I'm kind of making it a bit smaller as it goes into the centre of the painting. And I'm just rinsed off my brush there and I'm using a clean damp brush to soften the top hard edge there. And as I go into the centre, the marks get smaller so it looks further away. Each block is equivalent to eight ink tents Derwent pencils. That's amazing. And that's why you get so much pigment when you activate it with a damp brush or a wet brush. I've just added some more green in there and the blue, quite creamy, quite dark to the left here, damp into damp. I'm using a plastic card cut up to swipe the damp paint at the bottom there. And as you can see, it creates some lovely light textures, almost the illusion of waves in the sea. Mixing up some red and the black here, I've swapped to my size four round brush, painting damp into damp here, this gorgeous dark. And what's nice about this simple scene, it's great for beginners just to practice techniques, light wet into wet, damp into wet, and damp into damp. So I'm just adding a little bit more dark here, damp into damp. And I've waited for the painting to become less wet, more damp. And that's an ideal time to lift off with the plastic card. If the paint runs back in on itself, it's too wet. And of course, if you've left it too long, you won't be able to lift off. So just keep an eye on it. And I'm just lifting off some more sort of light in the sea here and there. And I'm going to allow this little painting to dry. And just to say the ink tents blocks dry permanently. So I'm activating the white now with water, getting plenty of pigment there. And I'm spattering some white wet on dry around the rock. So it looks like a wave has been crashing against the rocks. I'm doing the same in the foreground area as well to create light texture and detail. And I've decided just to paint a few little birds in the distance here, just sort of wide V shapes, wet on dry, using my size four brush with a very dilute black. And I'm just adding a little bit of dark under the rocks and actually taking out a few rocks just to simplify that area. And I'm removing the washi tape to reveal a lovely white border 
and I'm just going to give you a close up of this painting. I'm so pleased with it. I love the colours and the textures. If you're interested in learning more about Derwent Intense products, I published a tutorial recently using their amazing products. Check out the link in the description below. And if you'd like to get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.